Good morning or evening, friends. It is I, Wise Guys, on that Injustice 2, and Rod is coming for you. Get up, big boy. Whew. Let's get into it. All right. So I've been playing a little more Gorilla Grod. It's been a while. Figured I'd try some things out and see if I couldn't make him great. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of great. You're, you're probably not going to see a lot of great. But you'll see some decent. You'll see some average. Uh, I have seen some good ways for damage. Um, a lot of people like using his back one into the grab, a meter burn grab, which leads to a lot of combos, wall bounce, all kinds of stuff. I don't like that back one. It's a little slower than I'd like. But it is still a very good tool, particularly with that grab after. Uh, and I don't think I do anything <laughs> well enough to really critique what anybody else is doing. But that is something you're not going to see a lot of in this particular game. Because I hadn't explored that until recently. But there is a lot of damage to be had from that. If you are trying for a Gorilla Grod, make sure you learn. And make sure you have a, a good grasp of that back one grab. That's an easy damage right there. The 1-1-2 one, one, grab. Very quick, very easy combo. 1-1-2. One, one, you hop up, throw them down. You swap sides with them. So it's good if you're in the corner. Or if you're close to the corner, you can usually put them in the corner. That slow, lumbering low, that's that back one. That uh, back two right there with the kick is really good once you've got your uh, telekinesis on, but you need telekinesis for that to be effective. Yeah, knock him across the screen, baby! Now, this is uh, Red Hood, so knocking him across the screen is probably not the best idea. He's going to be able to get in a lot better than um, a lot of your other characters. But this ain't lost. If we can get a couple more hits, should... Oh, there we go! Now, see, if I had meter burned that, I could have won the round right there. However, the amount of damage that you deal from that meter burn uh, is better for a longer combo. Not so much just for uh, finishing a round out. But if you, if you got to finish a round out, I mean, finish the round out, man. Ugh, getting shot up. Nope. Nope. His down one is also really fast. So if you're trying to really grow out again, another thing you want to try is that down one. I'm a huge fan of that little combo right there. It's 2-2 two -two grab. It's really good. If you meter burn that, you can get some pretty good damage out of it too. I love that. <laughs> I want to say that forward one grab. Only in telekinesis. It is so much fun. That's that one one two grab again. Again, this is not a good idea for me to be holding back on the space. He does have that primal leap, uh, but I'm not really good enough with that primal leap just yet to be using it. Um, I'm better with cheetahs for whatever reason. Also, I found too late, uh, he's got a loop that's really, really good. I just didn't run that. Getting kept away. Ha ha, you missed me! Punishment! The key to it, you'll hear a lot of people complain about the keep away. The key to dealing with keep away is simply to capitalize on what you got. New match coming up with the Catwoman. told you I really like that 2-2 two, two grab that's a, such a good animation but again I like to use it usually uh, burning mark burning meter and that allows you to get a little more um, damage off of that I don't mind staying at a far further distance away right now because I am playing against Catwoman and oof, that hurt oh that hurts more I didn't know I was that close to the corner. Uh, knowing your stages is a, a very big key. That's going to help you out a lot. Because that was a lot of damage I didn't have to take. It's a good block. Uh, I don't mind being further away with Catwoman. Um, simply because there aren't a lot you can do for me from full screen. Not that I'm aware of, at least. Nope, nope, nope. I should have tried to meter burn. Maybe I did try to meter burn at the time. Could have got some much better damage out of that. That reminds me too. I gotta try that. Some things I want to try already. Kill him. Yep. Throw on the ground. We're coming in. We're leading the round, that's a good thing. Ah, she's using the whip now. She may not have the best keep away tools, but she does have keep away tools. A lot more than I have outside of uh, 
telekinesis. Now, outside of telekinesis, all I really have is that the charge, I think it's called stampede, it is not very good unless you're meter burning it. Now, if you're meter burning it, it is great because you can get two uh, hits of armor while you're charging, and that can change the tide of a battle, particularly against your Harley Quinn or your Red Hood, Hood something like that. You can get pretty much full screen and soak up some damage, uh, but once you get there, you deal pretty good damage, you're in close, you're right in their face. It's a real smart thing to do. That's that back one grab again. It's just not working. I think that back one's just too slow for me. But I've got to learn how to work it because that's that seems to be the uh, starting the linchpin on the ball his damage. Uh oh, went for that down one just because it's so quick, but it didn't make it. Just got to make the use best of use of my damage. That sucks. <laughs> good whip. Good whip. I can still do this. This is still possible. Particularly because I still have a, uh, uh never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I still had my clash, but it doesn't matter when you get sliced up. I wanna learn Catwoman. I like Catwoman. Catwoman and Flash, that'll be good. Aquaman. Now, Aquaman is one of those annoying characters. You'll see a lot of Aquaman play. It's difficult to tell how well they, how good they, or how good they are with the character. I could tell he was good just the way he started off. He started off with a low into a combo, and now he's got really pretty, really good uh, spacing on it. Wouldn't expect him to go with the interactable. Nobody ever goes for interactables. And now he sees me, and he's waiting for me to go for the interactable, but I didn't want to. My whole plan actually was to keep him away from it. Uh, but I think he knows enough about what he's doing to where that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> uh, the monkey. So now the goal is, now that I see it, that I'm outclassed, um, the goal is to not die. <laughs> How about that? Can we not die? Oof. I'm sorry, not die, but uh, can we not give him a perfect? And I think we've, we've done enough to stave the perfect. Now, after you get the perfect, the whole thing is can you win the round? So let's see if we can win a round before this goes out. Still got Clash, so we can still get some life. He's got no meter. That's a little too fast for me to be thinking about Clash. That sucks. That, I feel like that was, uh, <laughs> kind of let me know he, he, was, he was better. Nope, far too far. Ugh, ugh. If he had had the meter, that would have ended the round right there. Ugh, that hurts my soul. That's okay, though. We can bounce back. Let's see if we have one more in us. One more Gorilla Grodd, man. GG! <laughs> Just a little dismissive back in there. So, since I'm playing uh, Black Canary, my goal is to kind of stay in, but to do so on my terms. I also see that he does not mind waking up with that kick. So I need to be ready to punish it every time. I also like to do his fall bounce on my wake up. Into the overhead, so I gotta watch that. I was going for the grab, but as you see a lot of times, that did not work out quite like it should in this matchup. Again, that grab is one of my favorite animations in the game, so I'll go for it all the time. Get that throw in. Mmm. Oof, now that sucks. Look at that. Standing jump. Now, um, I haven't played Killer Instinct, but this is the mindset I have on situations like this. Do as much damage as you can before the next round comes up. So anytime I get a hit, I feel like I am in the lead. Because now it's not an even fight, it's not a one-to-one -one fight. I have just the slightest advantage going into the second round. Also remember to throw your grab in a lot of times after you do your combo, even if your combo looks like it's gonna whiff. Because if you connect with that last hit, or, or if, even if they're blocking, if you connect with that last hit and you hit grab, you're still getting the you're still getting the grab animation. Worth it. Unless they block that, then you might get punished. <clears throat> that would have been a good time to go for grab, but I missed it. That back grab. See if we can get some telekinesis, Kyle. Oh, he got it. I love that so much. He stays up in the air with that slam for so long. 
mind control to finish it out. Uh, so as you see, Grodd's got some potential. I'm gonna work on some combos and see if my game can get, get better. If you like, hit that like button. If you love, hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.